Hi there. Welcome to this episode. 中文字读和写第八集 When I'm reading all these characters, you do not learn all of them, but I'm hoping that along the way, and then you could recognize these characters and know the meaning without look at English. 学字，学 meaning learn or study. 字 characters. 学字 These are five characters we learned this week in black, and then let's do the pronunciation. Jiang, 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 Jiang. He, He, He. 和金金金金。This one in the bracket is the 偏旁 of 金。This character 银银银银。This one 小小小。小 This character we learned before. 水水水 meaning water. This one in the bracket is the 偏旁 of 水 So now let's first review the strokes of. 偏旁 of 水 We start with 点 and then the second stroke is another 点 The third one is this 提 T is start from bottom and then go up, and at the end is a tip. This character 将 Jiang. The left, as I mentioned, this is the 偏旁 of 水 So the left is 点 another 点 and then a T. And the right part is 横竖 another 横 So in Chinese, we say 一点二点，三提，四横，五竖，六横。So let's look at the life. One more time. Okay, so this is Jiang. Next character. 和和 it also has the 偏旁 of water, and then the right. We start with 横 and then 竖 and then this one is 横折横折 and then another 横 to finish the middle, and then the last stroke is 竖 go. 树沟 All right, so let's look at the life. Again, okay, that's he. Next character, Jin. 金，金。All right, we start with 撇，捺，横 ，another 横，竖，点 ，another 点，横。So that's 金。Even as the 偏旁 ，the last stroke instead of a 横 ，the last stroke。Is a T. So let's look at 
the life. Again. Okay, one more time. Okay, so this is Jin. Next character, Yin, Yin. The left is the Pian Pang of Jin, and the last stroke of this Pian Pang is T. Is this T? And the right hand side, we start with Heng Zhe. This is Heng Zhe, and then followed with Heng, another Heng. And this stroke is called Shu Ti, Shu Ti, and then a Pie, and then a Na. So that's Yin. Let's look at the life. Okay, again. One more time. Okay, that's Yin. The last character. This is much easier. Xiao, xiao, xiao. We start with this stroke, Shu Go, and then Dian, another Dian. So, in Chinese we say, 一竖勾，二点，三点。So, let's look at the life. Okay, the last time. That's 小 All right, now let's do the. Practice of the writing. Let me get my pen ready. Okay. We start with Jiang.、Um, actually, we can start with the、um, Pian Pang of Shui. So we do. Okay. Pian Pang of Shui. Now let's do Jiang. 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 Next one, He. 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 Jin. 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 Jin, Jin, Yin, 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 
in in xiao 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 all right so now we finish the writing part Let's go back and practice the pronunciation again. Jiang, 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 He, 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 Shui, 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 Jin, Jin. 金, 金, 银, 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 小, 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 小. All right, now let's have some fun. Let's review the pian pang we've learned so far. The five characters in red, they are five elements. You've learned four of them. This one you haven't learned. And let's start from the first one. Mu, mu, meaning tree or wood. You learned this character. We have one mu, add another mu. This is Lin, meaning a bunch of trees. So you see a character with pian pang of mu. It usually has a meaning related to tree or wood. This character you haven't learned, but let's have a guess. This is a, another pictogram character. And look at the shape. Can you think of what character in five elements this one is about? Don't you think these look like flames? So this character is fire. Huo. This one, tu, tu. And this is the pian pang of tu. You learn this character, di, di. The meaning is the ground, the land, or the earth. So you see a character with that meaning, it's related to tu. So usually they have a pian pang of tu. Next one, jin, jin. This is the pian pang. And then, as I remind you, the last stroke of this is t, and the same as tu. The pian pang, the last stroke is a t. This character, yin, we just learned, yin, this, tong. Yin meaning silver, and tong copper. So both of them are metal. So then a character with pian pang of jin, usually they have a meaning related to metal. Shui, shui, shui. And this is the pian pang. We learned jiang, jiang, he, he. Jiang usually big river, and He relatively smaller than Jiang. Both Jiang and He has the meaning related to water, so both of them have this pian pang of water. The last one, Xin, 
Xin, the heart. Xin has two kinds of pian pang. One is a left pian pang, and the other could be a bottom or a middle. The left pian pang. These two words you've learned: kuai and man. Fast and slow. So why fast and slow has something related to xin? Because whether you feel fast or slow, it's all up to how your heart feels like. For example, you are catching up your flight, you're late, and you feel you need to be faster. So you're in a taxi and driving to the airport. The taxi driver already drives um eighty miles per hour, but you feel so slow. You keep on telling him, "Can you drive faster?" So that's why, fast or slow, it's up to how your heart feels like it. That's why they both have heart as the pian pang. Another character is a good example. You haven't learned this, pa, pa. The meaning of it is be afraid or fear. You feel afraid because your heart is afraid, so that's why pa has the pian pang of the heart. Xin. Another pian pang of xin can be at the bottom or in the middle. So for this one, ren. You have learned this character. The meaning is to tolerate or tolerance. How can you tolerate something? Of course, you use your heart to tolerate. So that's why there is a pian pang of heart at the bottom. This character I showed you last time. I, meaning to love, to like. So of course you need to. Love or like with your heart, so that's why there is a xin in the middle, and this is a typical example of、um, the traditional and simplified Chinese writing. Traditional, this is the form, and with the heart in the middle. For simplified writing, the heart is missing. So now you see that with the heart at the bottom. Or in the middle, or at the left, and they all have a meaning related to the heart. Whether you feel or you sense something with the heart. This is a group of words and composed of two characters. But these two characters, they are the counterparts. Um, so we can also call them counterpart words. 日月日月 the sun and moon. 天地天地 the sky and the ground, or the heaven and the earth. 山水山水 the mountain and water. 大小，大小 ，big and small。上下，上下 ，up and down。金银，金银 ，gold and silver。快慢，快慢 ，fast and slow。早晚。早晚 you learn this one in 早上好，晚 you learn 晚上好。早晚 means early or late or morning and evening. 你我，你我，你 you learned 你好 meaning you. 我 you haven't learned this. 
meaning I, 你我 you and I. It could also mean you and me, or yourself and myself. In Chinese, 你我 refers to all those three forms in English. This group are the words used with the characters you learned recently. 大人小人 This could be adults, and then this kids. In ancient times, it could be two adults, but one highly admire or respect the other person, and then so he can call that person 大人 meaning master, and then he can call himself humbly 小人 And nowadays, in modern times, 小人 also mean villain. 文人文人 means scholar. 山人山人 means people in the mountain. In ancient times, scholars they want to live in seclusion, so they call themselves 山人大字，大字，小字，小字。Big character, small character, and we use these two in Chinese calligraphy. So, write in 大字 or 小字。一大一小。One big, one small. Usually, it refers to two figures: one big and tall; the other is small and short. So, for example, a big and tall daddy, followed by a small and little daughter or son. 一大一小 It can also mean a big yellow retriever, and followed by a little puppy. 江水，江水 ，the water of Jiang. 河水，河水 ，the water of 河。小心，小心，小心。Guess the meaning. Is that meaning small heart? I'm going to tell you the answer in the next slide. 心上，心上。The meaning of this is put something or somebody on top of your heart. 心上人，心上人。Somebody on top of your heart. Who's that somebody? Somebody that you really care about. And nowadays. Usually talk about your lover. 心尖，心尖，尖 You learned on top of 大 put a 小 meaning the tip or the end point of something. The tip or end point of your heart. What does it mean? I'm going to tell you the answer in next slide. Guess it. 大山，小山。Big mountain and small mountain, 大山小山。金山银山，金山银山。Gold mountain and silver mountain. That means have a lot of money. Mountains of gold and mountains of silver. 金山银山。铜山。铜山 ，the mountain produces copper. 铜山。今日，今日 ，golden sun. 银月，银月 ，silver moon. 水银，水银 ，water silver, silver water. What does it mean? 
Here you go. 小心，小心 is not small heart. Is meaning be careful or watch out. 心尖 you put somebody on the tip of your heart. Means sweetie or sweetheart. Like Jack and Tyrus, you can say you are the 心尖 of your mommy and daddy or your grandparents. 水银 silver water. That's mercury. 中文字读和写第八集。Thank you for watching. 谢谢。See you next time.